Hi guys, it's Nico with Local Motors, and I'm here to talk about something really cool that has come to us from the community. As some of you know, I was in Croatia recently for the Auto R Design Conference, and while I was there, I met uh, Tomislav, who was uh, who is a designer, and it would, wanted to show me uh, one of the, his projects. He had a lot of really great designs and very cool projects that he was working on. Um, and so one of the projects that he showed me was an idea for a bike tool, a really clever idea and something that I thought, wow, it would for local motors production capabilities, we could actually do this. So I've just been back uh, for just about a week at the local motors micro factory after getting back from a whirlwind of traveling. And I uh, took the last couple days to make a prototype, uh, work with um, Nestor and also Mike Ryder in order to make a prototype of the tool. So here's a tool, it's a bicycle tool, and it's a really, really cleverly laid out bike tool. So what you have is essentially three main components to the tool. You have two tire irons right here, I don't know if you can see them. So you have two tire irons on the, on the outside that sandwich a metal multi-tool. And so the tire irons we printed on our maker box and uh, Thomas Lab had done all the 3D modeling already, so we just had to basically take the tools and uh, take the model, basically, and 3D print them. So these are the tire irons here, and you can see one is basically standard. This is the one that you'd hook into a spoke, and then you have the other one that holds these Allen keys, and these are just standard uh, quarter-inch uh, hex drive uh, Allen keys. And then on the other side, you have this is basically an adapter that would uh, that would hold an adapter for the Allen keys here, a quarter-inch driven adapter. So the Allen keys pop off, or sorry, the, uh, the tire irons pop off, and then what you can do, what you have is a multi-tool. Now this one was just cut on the water jet yesterday. They're still, it's not perfect, um, but uh, we're gonna uh, cut another one uh, today here very shortly. And this was, we cut out of steel. We're probably going to look at making a couple more out of aluminum. What you have is you have wrenches here, a set of, of wrenches, kind of, and so you have metric and uh, SAE wrenches. You have an area where you can take one of your hex-driven uh, tools and you can, uh, uh, you can use that, you can plug it in there. Or, using the adapter that would sit be be between the, uh, let me put these down, that would sit between the tire irons right there, um, you can basically take the adapter and plug it on there. So you have, you have a quarter-inch driven, so you, you have this one for like tight spaces, and this area for more torque. Of course, you have more wrenches here. You have some grip in case it's uh, like wet and slippery. And then, most important thing on any tool, you have your bottle opener. So if you want to, you know, crack open a beer, there it is. So uh, this is in this. This is a very first prototype of this tool made. There's still some some issues with it. For example, you can see when we water jet it, you can see this shape here, nice beautiful, nice curve, very supported. On this shape, it's a spike. And so I've just worked with Mike Ryder to fix that. And so the, the version that we're going to cut today is going to have that fixed. And, um, and we're going to make this kind of uh, better. Also, we don't have the labels on the different sizes of the wrenches yet, uh, the, these kind of wrench patterns yet. So that will happen. We'll, we'll figure out how to etch those in as well. Um, and then, as, as I showed earlier, the, these tools, these are 3D printed. The adapter, as you saw, doesn't necessarily fit because there's support material that had to go in there. You know, overall, for the first prototype, uh, huge, re huge uh, shout out to Tomislav for making great models, because we were able to 3D print these with, and 3D print them and make this this work with almost no effort on our end. Uh, so we have just a couple hours invested, and you have essentially a complete bike tool. And uh, we're really excited to keep working on this project, and hopefully uh, get this in the local motor shop uh, within, you know in the next, uh, next few months. So it's really, really exciting. We're looking forward to it. A uh, huge shout out to Tomislav from Croatia. And uh, you know, thanks to him. And uh, we're really looking forward to working with him. If you have ideas uh, on the tool and how it could be uh, improved, definitely post your feedback in the project. And uh, we look forward to working with all of you.